help you about where to buy pure therapeutic grade essential oils. Now, if you currently buy essential oils or are thinking about buying essential oils from local stores like Walmart, Target, GNC, Walgreens, or even Amazon, don't do it. I'll explain why in just a moment. I'm going to share with you some information that essential oil companies don't want you to know. In just a couple minutes, I'm going to show you proof that companies are deceiving you and millions of others with the quality of their essential oils and where you buy them from does really matter. Now, after watching this video, I highly recommend you click the link directly under this video to learn more about the truth of essential oils and your best options for buying them if you really do want pure therapeutic grade quality. Let's talk about getting the facts before buying. Now a very sad fact is that more than 98% of the essential oils being sold online or locally through retailers are filled with over 90% commercial chemicals and added fillers regardless of what the label on the bottle says. And this is why essential oils are found so cheap online and in retail stores and don't have any real medicinal or health benefits. They're able to do this because essential oils, just like supplements, are not subject to the FDA's approval because of a loophole in a 1994 federal law, which means fraudulent products can easily reach consumers without accountability or oversight. And now we can thank this guy for that. He's responsible for preventing stricter regulations on supplements, vitamins, and essential oils. As you can see on the header, Hatch leads efforts to prevent overregulation of dietary supplements, and you can do more research on Google to learn about that if you'd like. In fact, it's to the point where manufacturers can be very deceiving with the labeling of the bottles and get away with it. One of the most widely used deceitful marketing tactics by essential oil sellers is that they will label their bottles as being 100% pure essential oil. This is far from the truth. Over 95% of the bottles labeled as being 100% pure only contain about 5% real essential oil, and the remaining 95% is commercial chemicals and fillers. But since they did put 5% real essential oil in the bottle, they are letting you know on the label that the bottle does have 100% pure essential oil in it. They're just not telling you that it's only 5%. Now, because of the loose regulations, most of these companies also don't list the chemicals and fillers on the ingredients section, so you really have no idea what you're putting in your body. Here's proof. Look, let's look at this article that was just put up in uh, February 2015. And this was in New York. Bottles of Walmart brand Echinacea, an herb said to ward off colds, were found to contain no echinacea at all. GNC brand bottles of St. John's wort, touted as a cure for depression, held rice, garlic, and a tropical house plant, but not a trace of the herb. In fact, DNA testing on hundreds of bottles of store brand herbal supplements sold as treatments for everything from memory loss to prostate trouble found that four out of five contained none of the herbs on the label. Instead, they were packed with cheap fillers such as wheat, rice, beans, or house plants. And if you look on down another paragraph, it says Schneiderman said the supplements pose serious risk. People who have allergies or are taking certain medications can suffer dangerous reactions from herbal concoctions that contain substances not listed on the label. And you can do some research on this yourself. You can just type in uh, Walmart, Target, or any of those and uh, supplements in the news. And it's, it's going to bring up a lot of articles regarding um, what just happened here. Now, this is why every essential oil company, except for a select few, will put a disclaimer on their essential oil bottles that says not to consume, digest, or take internally, even though real 100% essential oils are safe to take internally. And let's look just at a few of these labels. Okay, here's one from a company called Shirley Price. It does say that it's pure essential oil. We can see here in the warning, not to be taken internally. Here's another one from a popular brand, Aracasia, I believe is how it's pronounced. And over here it says, may irritate skin, not for internal use. And the next one I really like, this one is from a company called Plant Life, and it says, are essential oils 100% pure therapeutic grade? Yet when you look at the bottom of the bottle in the black, it says for external use only. And then what really gets me is it's grapefruit. Next is an oil by uh, Now Foods, which is generally sold through GNC. And this is, uh, the bottle does say it's 100% pure. And if you look there, it says suggested use is for aromatherapy. And then clear at the bottom under caution. The last uh, four words, it says not for internal use. And we'll look at one more here. 
It says it's 100% pure natural essential oil. It's supposed to be lemon oil, yet it says warning concentrated not for internal use. And of course, the reason they're putting it's not for internal use is because they know it's not safe for you to be taking. And in that case, you shouldn't even be putting it on your skin or really diffusing it because they have chemicals and fillers in them that are not safe for you. Essential oils can contain hundreds of healing properties which play an amazing role in your overall well-being. But if the oils were not created using the proper techniques, then chances are you're missing out on the majority of these healing properties. Creating pure essential oils is a very sophisticated process, one which very few companies know or care to do properly. And here's just a couple or three of the main factors that determines the quality of essential oil. The time of the year and day the plants were harvested. For example, the best time to pick a plant called ylang ylang, which is a flower, is from midnight to 4 o'clock in the morning. If not done between those hours, you're not going to get the full benefits from the plant when it's in its uh, essential oil format. 2. How long the plants are distilled. It takes 2,000 pounds of cypress distilled for 24 hours to produce just 16 ounces of oil. And the reason it's distilled for 24 hours is because in the last 20 minutes, 18 of the key active constituents are released from the leaves. If it's distilled for any less time than this, those healing properties will be missing from the cypress oil. And third, what temperature plants are distilled at? If too hot or not hot enough, the properties of the oil can either be destroyed or they can be prevented, therefore losing the healing properties of the oil. Most businesses online and offline, they don't care about the process required to make effective essential oils. They only care about producing large quantities fast so they can fill their pockets. In return, we see poor quality, very ineffective, chemical-filled essential oils being sold everywhere. They know if they sell it cheap enough and it smells good, then you will buy it regardless if it's really pure or not.